Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna have a quick video for you. Uh, it's gonna be a follow up of the uh, no spark that I did a few months back. I had a lot of uh, comments and questions and uh, people asking about that. So uh, I'm gonna do a follow up and show you uh, exactly what I did to fix it. So I'm out here, and it, uh, I don't know if you can see it, but it's just started snowing a little while ago. It's not as cold as it has been, but it's still pretty cold. It's about 36 degrees. All right, so let's get on there. So as mentioned before, this ECU has got to be grounded. But uh, so what you got to do is you got to get... A sanding wheel, here's an option. You know, something like this. Or uh, air, if you got an air grinder, the, the end of that work. Make sure all these metal surfaces are clean. This has got to be clean. The backside's got to be clean. And the body's got to be clean. And I know it sucks scratching off your new paint. And I actually got outside the line a little bit. I don't have to go back and touch that up, but. That right there's got to be clean. All right, so then this is just something I added. This is not you know, from the factory. I made up a, a cable. I'm not. I'm not sure what gauge it is. It's pretty heavy though. I think it might be ten or twelve. I think it's ten. And just made it. I don't know. Maybe three foot long. Two and a half foot long. And then I'm going to ground this to that. And then, you know, once you bolt it all together, that'll be one piece. And then I'm also grounding this over here to my body ground, which goes, this goes to the battery, this goes to the wiring harness, and this is the new, this is the new one that I'm making. And it's all going to be ground up here on the firewall or the uh, radiator support as you can tell this was the original one and i never took it out i just cut the wires when i and i never even took it out because that bolt was stripped and i never could get it out so i just left it and i made a new hole down here but uh i'm going to show you how to test for ground with the with a light let me get everything set up and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so I have my test light and I have it hooked up the clamp to the positive side of the battery. So this end here is going to check for ground. If you put it anywhere, all right, the light's not coming on, it's not grounded. All right, that's not grounded. If you come right here, the light comes on, it's grounded. Go there, it's not grounded. So you know that this point isn't is a good ground. So we're gonna go over here to the spot on the radiator support. That's where my thing's gonna be hooked up. Right there, it's grounded. So that's how you test your ground. And once I get everything hooked up, we'll check it again just to make sure. But uh, you can see there. So we should have, yeah, we have a ground there too on the, so the radiator support is, is grounded. All right, so let me get everything hooked back up. And uh, all I'm doing is I'm taking, I'm going to take one of these star washers and where I do here's my my bolt and I'm putting eight, all three of these grounds together and then run that bolt through the radiator support and putting the washer and on the back side of it and uh, that's gonna keep it grounded to the radiator support and once I do that I'll check this just to make sure it's got a good connection all right let me get it all hooked up and I will we'll check it 
Oh, one more thing before I bolt this up. The reason why you want to use one of these, I've got all kinds of different sizes. These are, these are not the best quality. They're cheap, come from Amazon or whatever, but they do the job. Uh, the reason why you want to use one of these, you always want to use this between the, uh, which I use one on both sides. I got one against the bolt too, but you always want to use one between the connection and the paint or the whatever surface that you're putting it against, which in this case is the radiator support. What that does is, as you tighten this down, those little, those little fins, as it tightens down, will dig into the surface. And if there's any paint there, it'll scratch it off, which I've already cleaned it, but there's no paint. But if there is, it'll scrape it off. And if there's, you know, it kind of just digs in to the metal and it gives it a better surface to uh, connect to. So I'm going to put that there like that. And then when I tighten that down, it's going to, it's going to dig in. I'm also going to use, I got to find another washer like this because I want to put a washer on both sides. I'm going to put, I can't keep my, I'll put a washer on here first and then put this behind the washer so that gives that something some force to dig into and then i'll do the same thing on the back side here i put a uh, one of these and then a washer and it just kind of sandwiches it all together all right let me uh let me go find them. i'm missing a washer like this let me go find one of them hey guys i'm back all right i got the got everything hooked up down here i'm getting uh get this flipped around and I'll show you what I'm doing or what I've done and uh, I'll show you what how I hook it up to the ECU box too all right I'm back all right so I got out I got this hooked up and you can see I've got the star washer then I got my three ground cables and then I got another washer and another star washer and then on the back I've got you can't see it but there's a star washer the uh, regular washer and then the nut. So let's check our ground. All right here's the end of the cable. I still got this hooked up. It should light up. Yep, we got a ground right here. All right, so with this, I'm gonna do the same thing. And I'm gonna go on the outside like this the flat against the body so you have two grounding surfaces you have one here and one here if you put it underneath it's going to separate the rest of this from the body so you could you're actually losing potential for a ground surface so i'm putting it on the outside so when everything's tightened up not only is the back side grounded against the the inner fender but we also have a non positive ground on the outside of this box which i've cleaned up and sanded and uh, this is an old box this is actually the original one i had if you remember the last video i had the mopar the orange one and uh i kept having a little bit of trouble with it i'm not sure that it was the box's fault but uh i i just wanted to make sure that i had a you know a known ecu and i knew that this one was good because it was good uh, that was the one that came out of this car and it ran fine so uh i just went back to an old one and <laughs> so i may end up switching them out again i'm not sure but for now i'm gonna leave this one in all right i'll get everything buttoned up we'll check it again make sure the ground's good of course we can't start it because we don't have a carburetor but uh we'll check the ground and make sure that it's good all righty the snow is really coming down good now all right so i'm all finished up Here's what we got. So I've got that. Of course, you got a bolt on the other side holding it down. It's super tight. You got a good. Good uh, contact between the inner fender. This is nice and tight. And then this comes down here to where this is grounded. So it's. Uh, this needs to be moved. 
There we go. So I'm gonna test it here and make sure it is connected, all right? So let's go right here. And we won't, we don't want to touch, crap, sorry, bad camera work. I don't want to touch the bolt because I know that it is going to be grounded. That's not how you want to check it. You actually want to check the ECU housing itself. So when I touch there, you can see I'm not on the wire. Well, I touch here. I'm not on the wire. I'm not on the bolt. I'm on the ECU housing. And it is grounded. You can see anywhere I check it. Even up here, it's it's grounded. This cup right up top is grounded. So we know that this is now grounded. All right, guys, that's going to wrap this one up. Uh, thank you. I appreciate you watching. I hope that this uh, answers some of the questions. And uh, if, you've, if you're having this trouble, I hope this helps you out. And uh, I thank you for watching. I will leave a link to uh in the description to the original video the part one we'll call this one no spark part two uh that uh if you haven't seen that one and you're having this trouble go back watch that one first and this is the fix uh the first video i pretty much just diagnosed it and this is this is how you fix it after you diagnose it all right i thank you for watching uh please like subscribe it doesn't cost nothing uh I got some pretty cool stuff coming up in the future.